Okay, evaluate the exponents. Okay, you got 7 to the second. That's you just write two sevens and multiply them. You should know how to do that. It's 49. You don't need, they're not expressions, they're just values to find. Negative 3 to the six, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. You multiply them out. You're going to get neg you're going to get positive 729. Okay, negative three to the fifth. So negative three times negative three times negative three times negative three times negative three. So that's going to be negative 243. Now, when you have a negative base, if the exponent's even, it'll become a positive. When you have a um, negative base and the exponent's odd, it will remain at a negative product. Two fifths to the fourth power. So I write two fifths, two fifths, two fifths, and two fifths. Okay, so two times two times two times two is sixteen. Five times five times five times five is six hundred and twenty-five. Okay, now you got some expressions you need to get simplified. So Looking through that problem, we have 4x to the second power, and then to the fourth power, and then times x to the sixth power. You have a parenthesis around the 4x to the second, and then outside you get a fourth power, then times x, then you have a sixth power. Okay, so number base, you have four. Okay, you're going to want three lines. And then variables, you have x, but you have it twice, so you write a plus sign. So let's talk about the 4. So 4 needs an exponent, I put a 1. But it's in parentheses, so I take the 1 times a 4. That's 4. Now x, remember there's two of them, that's why we need a plus sign. So the, x, the first x is to the 2, but it's in parentheses, so 2 times 4 is 8. Then the other x is just a 6, and that's outside, it's not in a parentheses, so it's just 6. So 8 plus 4, 6 is a 14. Okay, so 4 to the 4th, the exponent's positive, it stays in position. It's on top, stays on top. 14's positive, it stays in position, so it's on top, it stays on top. 4 to the 4th, I need to evaluate. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, and that's 256. Then the x to the 14th power would just stay the same. So there's your final answer, 256 times x to the 14th power. Okay, next expression. We have a parentheses. Inside we have 8xy, and outside we have a negative third power. So number base, you got 8, you got x, you got y. Only one of each, so there'll be no plussing of the exponents. So 8 to the 1. So 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Then x to the 1, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And then 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Okay, 8, base 8 has a negative exponent, so that's a switch. So you switch the 8 to the bottom where the exponent becomes positive 3. Okay. Negative exponent switches to the bottom where it goes to a 3. Negative switches to the bottom where the y becomes a 3. Okay, now I put a 1 on the top because I can't have nothing on top. So 8 to the 3rd would be 8 times 8 times 8, and that equals 512. Then x stays to the 3rd, and y stays to the 3rd. So it's the fraction 1 over 512 times x to the 3rd times y to the 3rd. Okay, my next problem. Got a couple kind of tougher ones here. We have a parentheses. Inside that parentheses, we have 4 divided by a to the 3rd power. And then we have a second power outside times, then a parentheses, 5a to the second power. On bottom, you have b to the third power. Then the parentheses is closed, and you have a fifth power. So these two lines can be combined into one in multiplication. So my top number, number bases, you got a 4 and a 5 both on top. 
And you also have a letter base A on top. Okay, now on the bottom you don't have any number bases, but you have two variable bases, an A and a B. Okay, so let's figure out these exponents. We plan on crossing out the A, okay? So 4 is to the 1, and we've got to take 1 times 2, so it's 2. 5 is to the 1, but that's in a parenthesis, so we have to take 1 times 5, that's 5. Now the top A is to the second, it's in parentheses, you've got to take 2 times 5, and that's to the tenth. Okay, now this A on bottom is a third, but it's still surrounded by the parentheses, so I take 3 times 2, and that's 6. And B to the third, it's in parentheses, you've got to take 3 times 5, and that's 15. Now you need to cancel your A's, meaning you have an A on top and bottom, so get rid of the one on bottom and then minus 6 from 10. So that leaves me with an A to the 4th. So 4 to the 2nd is positive, it stays. 5 to the 5th, positive, it stays. Positive, it stays. And then positive, it stays. Okay, now we simplify what's possible. 4 to the second, that means 4 times 4, and that's 16. 5 to the fifth, that means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. I believe that's 3,125. A to the 4th variable stays, and then on bottom the B to the 15th stays. But I need to multiply the 16 times the 3,125. 50,000. Okay, next problem. We got a parentheses on top that we have a division line. Then on top, there's a parentheses just around the 6x with a negative third power outside. Then a y to the third power. Then x to the 6 on bottom and a y to the negative fourth on bottom. So up on top, number base 6 and then letter base x and y. Down below, we don't have a number base, but we have the letter bases X and Y. So we plan on crossing out the X from the bottom and the Y. So 6 is to the 1, but it's in parentheses. So 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Then X to the 1, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Y on top is a 3. Okay, now down under, we got a 6, but it's not in parentheses, so it will remain at 6. We have a negative 4, not in parentheses, it remains at negative 4. So, let's get rid of our x from here, and minus 6 from negative 3. So it gives me negative 9. Then the y from under, you're, my, you're getting rid of it, but it was a negative 4, so when I minus, it's 3 minus negative 4. It's actually going to be 7, because that ends up being the same as 3 plus positive 4. Okay, now what switches, what stays? Well, that's a switch. It's on top, the six, base 6 switches to the bottom, so that it's negative 3 can become a positive third power. Negative 9, that's a switch. It goes to the bottom so that the negative 9 can become a positive 9. At 7, that's a stay. Okay, so y to the 7th can't be simplified. On the bottom, we can simplify 6 to the 3rd. That means 6 times 6 times 6. That's 216. Then x to the 9th. Okay. okay, scientific notation. You got to write this number. It's got a lot of digits. We're condensing it using scientific notation 0 0.00000273. Okay. Well, first off, the number I start with that's less than 1. 
Okay, so lesson one means we'll have a negative exponent on our base 10. So that's a reminder for later. So I'm looking through this number and I, I marked the first digit that's not a zero. Right there. Okay. So that decimal needs to move so it's between the two and the seven that's after it. So I count as I'm doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you put a decimal point with a two and then seven, three. Times ten, you're because every time you move the decimal, you're actually multiplying by a, a factor of ten. The exponent's negative. Okay. And we moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the negative 6 power, and that's the answer. Okay. Now you're taking the scientific number and finding out what the number. It's like you're doing this in reverse order. Write 2.83 times 10 to the 8th power in standard form. All that is is taking the 2.83 times 10 carat 8. Now it's a positive exponent, so I should expect a really big number. And I do get a really big number. It's like 283 million. Okay, then we go to the problem solving. Farmer bought a tractor for $30,000. A tractor is a heck of a lot more than 30000 but we'll go with it. The value of the tractor has been decreasing at a rate of 18% per year. How much is a tractor worth 16 years from now? So you got dollars and years. Years is X, dollars is Y. So per, dollars per year. We, there isn't a dollars per year, it's a percent per year, and that percent is 18%. Well, that makes an expo function out of this, okay? So in an expo function, okay, you have to have a factor. And to find your factor off a percentage, you take 100%, and decreasing would be minus 18%. That would be 82%. So 0 0.82 is your expo factor. Okay, then I make a table out of it, but I will not be adding on the table. X, Y is dollars, X is years. Please read the problem, okay? Money. Money starts at 30,000. And then we'll be multiplying by 0 0.82. Okay, two twenty-four thousand six hundred times zero point eighty-two again. Twenty thousand one hundred and seventy-two. Okay, and that goes on, and then I want to know sixteen years. Okay. Now, do not make your line because it's not; it's an exponent function. So, if it's an exponent function. <laughs> exponential function, you use the base equation a times b to the x power equals y. So my a, okay, is where the y starts, $30,000. My b is 0 0.82. And then 16 equals y. Okay. 30,000 times 0 0.82 to the 16th power. And uh, that's going to be one piece of a crap tractor. Okay, You're talking money, so we'll go two decimals. So 1,253.55. Yeah, that's probably not likely, but... Okay, then the last one. A family buys a house for $150,000. The value increases at a rate of 8%. Find the home's value after five years. It increases because of equity reasons. But 
So dollars and years. Years is X, dollars is Y. So per dollars per year, 8%. So increase, so again, it's a percentage. So that changes the ball game. Okay, it's an expo function. And the factor, I take, this time I will not subtract 8 because it's increasing. You add 8%. Move it twice to the left, not not to the end. You just move it twice to the left. There's still a one in front of the decimal, so the expo factor is 1.08. Okay, so X is years, Y is money. So zero, one, two. So the Y value starts at 150,000, and then every year we multiply by 1.08. It's 162,000 after one year. Then 162,000 times 1.08, 174,960. Then I need to find five years. Okay. So you write out your expo function A times B to the X power equals Y. So a hundred fifty thousand times one point zero eight and then to the fifth power equals y. Okay, now we're talking money amount, so I get this two hundred twenty thousand three hundred ninety nine dollars and twenty one cents. That's your answer.